morning. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Commuters welcome the resumption of MRT operations, but they say the number of buses flying EDSA was not enough to meet passenger demand. JC Cosico is on the ground in Pasay City to give us more on this story. JC, good morning. Charles, the MRT3 resumed operations today after being shut down for almost a week. Operations. Security officials at Taft Avenue Station in Pasay City say passenger started arriving at around 5.30 a.m. About 13 train sets were dispatched from both the North and Taft Avenue stations beginning 5.30 a.m. today. The last train will leave North Avenue Station at around 9.10 p.m., while the last trip from, from Taft Avenue Station will be at 10.11 p.m. As part of health protocols, passengers are given health declaration forms while they're queuing to enter the station. This is required before one boards the train, as this will be used for contact tracing purposes. Coaches will be regularly disinfected to avoid the spread of COVID-19. The five-day shutdown paved the way for the disinfection of its facilities as well as COVID-19 testing for employees. As of July 11, a total of 281 trained personnel tested positive for COVID-19. Majority are depot workers. Over 2,000 depot and station personnel, meanwhile, tested negative for the virus, exceeding the required number of manpower to resume limited operations, which is set at around 1,300. Train workers are required to submit health declaration forms twice daily and to wear PPEs while on duty. Meantime, we talked to some commuters about the resumption of MRT operations, and here's what they have to say. Bus last time sa Ortigas mo mababa. Medyo malayo pa yung lalakarin. Takot kasi dahil doon sa mga cases nila. Kaya lang sabi ko, siguro kung mag-iingat naman, tsaka lagi mag-alcohol, huwag na lang hawak sa mga metal-metal, okay lang din. Meantime, the MRT bus augmentation service is still ongoing as uh, uh, the limited train trips. Meantime, 90 buses were deployed to aid passengers. Now, uh, um, transport officials say that the regular operations of the MRT3 will depend on uh, uh, the number of uh, individuals or employees testing negative for COVID-19. Back to you. Thanks for that, JC. That was JC Cosico reporting live from Pasay City. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. The health department reports more than 2,000 new COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. Total coronavirus infections have reached 56,000, of which almost 39,000 are active cases. The Philippine Stock Exchange halts trading of ABS-CBN shares today as the Boris is waiting for the embattled media giant to disclose how the denial of its franchise renewal will impact its business. And the low-pressure area off of Cagayan Province is now a tropical depression. PD Carina was last spotted at 275 kilometers east of Tugigarao City. And it's packing winds of around 45 kilometers per hour. Currently, tropical cyclone signal number one is up over Batanes, Babuyan Islands, and the northeastern portion of Cagayan Province. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World online. You can also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can catch One News on the Signal Play app. Just register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.